Hi guys. So, we're at the African Line Safari here, and with any luck, we're going to have a good connection, because I'm pretty sure we saw a cell phone tower on the way in. No, show animals, no pass. Animals, look yeah. at that. We just got in, this is the first thing yeah, we get. Yeah, we literally just got in and stopped to start the stream. So, this is, uh, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Some kind of alpacas or something. And they're chilling out with the Canadian geese. There you go. <laughs> really lazy. Yeah, they don't give a shit. What is the difference between alpacas and llamas? I don't know. Maybe they're llamas. I think so. <gasps> so thin. Get out of the car, Poggers. <laughs> We're not allowed to get no, out of the car, guys. Canadian geese, African lion safari. The Canadian geese have taken over. There's like some irregular geese there. There's more Canadian geese. There's some kind of like... That's like a stork or something, stork. I think. Storks aren't that common here, actually. There's another story. Storks are very common in Greece. Mm. Same in Romania. Call them barza. Bean. Guys, Canadian geese are everywhere, by the way. This, like, this is like downtown Toronto on, on the odd day. This one's really big. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. We, we have to give it time. Maybe these animals just like came to hang out. Those don't look like animals. They just, they just came to hang out. out. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure that's the case. Yeah. Ra Rasta goose. Look, and he's pecking from like some kind of like feeding. It's a feeder, okay? It's a ground feeder. I had this in Jurassic Park Evolution. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently there's bigger things later on. There's, there's yes, stuff yes. There. Those are like oxen. Those are long, long horns. Let's show you guys. Of course they have babies. This is like the sweet spot to live in. Oh, those guys are fighting. They're clashing horns. You like cows and shit. I oh. like cows. Cows. I don't are like cows very much. They're majestic. Like very smelling and stuff. Well, I, I'm not saying I like cows as pets. Roll down but the window. Maybe when we get to the lions, we'll have high five them. <laughs> Let's do. Is that the best that. tree? That's the best tree, right? It's it's look. It's far more rounded than the other trees. Look, look at the tree beside there. Yeah, they're yep. fighting for the best spot under the best tree. Ooh, no entry. Let's go there. That's where the good animals are, okay? Dangerous animals. Windows closed. Ooh. Oh, there's a photo of a lion. Well, there's a photo of a lion here, too. Like, around oh, the it's corner. Up there. Is it? Yes. Where is it? It's lying down. Oh, there. okay. Yeah, it is actually there. Well, this seems like there. the easiest job ever. <laughs> Sit it's in your car the, near the it's lines. One in the oh, middle, yeah, there's and it's three. It's one length down, down the bottom. Okay. Oh, there's four. Where is the fourth? There's one near the tree, and there's three in the rocks. See, there's one like to the left. Oh, left. there's five. There is four on the rocks and one under the tree. Should I get out of the car, guys? <laughs> or do you guys need me to play Hearthstone later? There, guys. There. Okay. It's one at the top. One at the middle, two at the bottom, and one at the tree there. Savannah hymen. Yes, if you kill it, it spawns two hyenas. Did you know that? Oh, look, they have their windows open. What the fuck? And they have bars in their windows, though. Whatever, I'll get some bars on the window. <laughs> look at that. Okay. The next thing on the list, it should be around this corner here, should be a white lion. Tim, Tim Bavati lion country. Okay, well, well, one of the lions is not dead asleep, so... This one is not even, like, his foot, look at that. His foot is, like, hanging. Also, these are all girl lions. Like, wait, where's wait, the, where's, me, where's the guy the, lions? The bus wants to go through. Wow! There's more food on the bus. <laughs> yes, that's why the lions don't chase the geese. Well, it's like I told you. Yeah. I went... I went on this thing like 20 years back and I was part of the bus and right, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's the exact same bus. Yeah. And um, no, that, that, that the monkeys climbed on there. the bus a lot. Yeah, so when you come here you can you can go on, on one of their buses if you don't want your car damaged. Or if you want your car damaged you can use your own car like we're doing. You monkeys are pretty smart. <laughs> monkeys are pretty smart. They're probably like, oh shit, that's the brand new Audi. Let's go boys, time to fuck it up. <laughs> You know what we should have taken? What? Like a dog whistle. I bet some of these animals can hear high-pitched noises Is like dogs. Them. Wouldn't that have been good? Uh. Well, for us <laughs> and the viewers. And that's what's important. Oh, shit. 
Someone got out of the car. Did they? No, I don't know. He might be asking them to move. Yeah, he probably did. He's like, get the fuck out of here. I mean, they have been like literally camped like, for 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's almost a warning. The next is the descend the lines after you. <laughs> they all look sleepy as fuck, but they're technically <laughs> not asleep. Well, not not most of them. But they're all squinting and shit. Why are they squinting? Because it's light. They're fucking well, lions. I mean, if you had this kind of hair, yeah, I don't know. You might be squinting too. Are these from Siberia or something? Do they not see light most of the time? What? But we didn't stay 15 minutes. <laughs> Still sleeping. I have an idea for next time. What is it? We should paint stripes on our car. <laughs> and we should paint the logo at the side. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go wherever the fuck we want. <laughs> I don't know what a zebu is. It's probably some kind of monkey. Monkey bypass. Animals make damage big enter at your own risk and you can bypass them like screw the monkeys. <laughs> No. No, but the ve go. my vehicle. Monkeys. My vehicle. Monkeys. We get another one. <gasps> they have monkeys on them. I uh, want monkeys on my car. Uh, no, I think that's an emergency because the guy's coming to move them off. <laughs> yeah, there were three monkeys on the guy's car. They're not anymore. I think they still are. They still are. Look at that. I want monkeys. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're so funny. That okay. guy's missing a door handle. Uh, that might be new. Okay, let's Okay, go. guys, let's get our story straight. Our car fell into a bunch of monkeys. Uh-huh. Okay. If, if we have to contact the insurance company. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is, the guy, this is the guy that got left out of the car party. This is the loser baboon. Let's go around, we'll see. But he's just taking every car. Do we have any food? <laughs> I don't think we have. Maybe we should have wiped peanut butter all over our car before oh, yeah. we came here. That would have been such a good yes. idea. Yes. Damn. Guys. You rub peanut butter on the car. Yeah. Like rub a bit and then wipe it off. But then the smell stays. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? And then all the monkeys on your car. Well, that guy took a monkey with him. Oh, yeah. Wait, where are you going, monkey? God, that is one hideous looking butt. Why do they have pink butts? Because they sit on them all the time, I don't know. Is that why? Uh, oh, there's little monkeys baby there. Baby monkey, they're playing. Yeah, they're like fighting or something over there. You guys see that? Oh, playing. Well, it looks like the monkey is just really fucking angry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got nabbed. <laughs> the big one was like, shut the fuck up. Sit here. The little monkeys are like hideous and the big monkeys grow hair to cover up their ugliness but they don't grow enough leaves their butt out hello zebus this is fly face god that that looks like it's a really fucking horrible existence why? i think i like them they're kind of cute no the zeb one of the zebus has like a million flies on his face oh. the other ones have none like none none Oh, there's a monkey here. Hey. Sup, dude? No? Didn't work? You don't like your car enough. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're picking a new car. Pick us, pick us, pick us. <laughs> look, look at our shiny car. Wait, do something. <laughs> Invite them. I don't know how to do that. I don't have peanut butter. <laughs> See, at least the little cow liked us. Oh, that's Even fucking fly face. Said, yes, that's fly face. Oh, God. There, let's go. Whoa, whoa, so cool. This is the best car. This is all the party. Well, okay, let's look at Party time. But the party time. The oh, the cows are crossing. Yes. Poor fly face. There's fly face. If you accidentally run it over, do you get to take it home and cook it? Maybe. Okay. Okay, these are probably car climbers that are coming back, by the way. I think they were escorted out by the safari police. Oh, there's little monkeys, like, here. Look at that. <laughs> this guy. 
Car climbers. Party time! Party time! Come on! No? Okay, this guy, this guy. Come on. Can you give us a pity climb? Pity climb? <laughs> we'll come back with peanut butter next time. Peanut, peanut butter next time. Are we going to see, see where it is? No. no. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have to pay up front. <laughs> I don't know what these animals Our are called. Just... These are the animals that the lions chase, and then the slow one falls behind, and then the <laughs> lion goes num 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 num. <laughs> He's excited. He's moving his tail for us. Okay. He's looking straight at us. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's up, dude? I think this one to the right here is limping. See, is limping. They are all like that. All. Every single one is like that. I think that's just how they sit. Oh. Yeah. With like one leg up? Yeah. Hi, horsey. They're small. They're very small. And you got a lot of like whiskers and shit. Hi, horsey. They're very pretty. Mm -hmm. How much are those mounts? So there's like left hooved and right hooved. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. Why do they all have these like long scars on the back? They're fur gross, I don't know. But zebras are very small. I thought zebras were bigger. Hmm. They're really big. small for horses. Yes. There's like some kind of um these these are the animals that um, they go near the water and then the crocodile gets them. <laughs> News? I don't know what they are. But th those are the ones. I've seen this in a documentary. They're like, oh, I'll take a sip of this innocent looking water. And then, <laughs> and then the crocodile gets a nice feast. Rhinos are big. Dude. Do you think can wreck a car easily? Easily, yeah. Easily. This is where you want to start driving quickly if you have peanut butter on your car. <laughs> I don't think they like peanuts. Right, right. <laughs> I think every animal and humans like peanut butter, except for rhinos, I'm sure. I'm sure we're safe. <laughs> Maybe they're very well fed, okay? Yeah. It's like really sleepy. Yeah, and it's drooling out of its nose. I honestly think See, there that's... there you go. Oh, it's alive. Oh, did it see us? Probably. He's probably embarrassed from his nose drool. <laughs> I mean, they are goats. Mm, kind of. Well, they like going on the taller parts. And these are like rocky areas and shit, so... I don't know. These are the it's older the shade. ones. They have like really big horns. Yeah, they do. And they're in long um, beards. Yeah. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, there's a zero. Yes, it's easy. <laughs> the young one. Yes, it looks dumb. It's perfect. Because I've seen much bigger, like the ones at the back are bigger. Oh, no, no, no. It's not even you I don't, playing with that Yeah, stick. I don't even think that this is edible. I don't think it's edible. Okay. We have the edibles kind of off the ground there, see? Yeah. It's like out of reach of all the other animals. Right. You see that like mountain of shit over there? I'm pretty sure this is where the rhinos sleep, guys. These animals look so fucking bored. All animals look bored. Look at them. Yeah, dude, so whatever the fuck, alright, I'm just gonna chew here, okay, alright, dude. You wonder what giraffe tastes like? Do you think it was broken so they put it in storage? Oh, sexy time! <gasps> no. Almost sexy Rejected. time, guys, almost. <laughs> that male is a tiny one. Yeah. That's why. No, he's probably lost his confidence now. Alright, little guy, do us proud. Get on up there. <laughs> no. Oh, we're going. Well, we're not. I think I don't think he's tall enough. He's just not tall enough. He can't reach. 
But yeah, the one time I was on the bus, this is like more than 20 years ago, by the way. The one time I was on the bus, the monkeys did, like a lot of monkeys went on top of the bus. I think they probably feel safe. It's nice. The buses. Well, they've seen the buses many times. Yeah, exactly. So. We got more Canadian geese and some zebras. Uh, distance wise, we're about halfway through, but they don't have as many animals painted on the map. Okay. On the second half. So, I don't know what to expect, really. We'll see. There's an ostrich. I want to go there. Can you, like, rev your engine a little bit? Vroom, vroom. No, because there are. It's drinking water. Yes, and if you vroom vroom, it might jump in the pool. Yeah, privacy. You wish. You wish, bro. We paid for this experience. <laughs> now dance! <laughs> it's so messy. Like all the feathers and yeah. stuff. It's there everywhere. Well, not, not happy. Not happy. But floofing up. Get it off the road. It's got a cane. That's hilarious. Apparently you control the ostriches with the cane. Is it literally like you take the cane and it's like taking someone off the stage? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm just having fun with you. Come back. Come back. She's gonna be like, are you fucking serious? I was just in the middle of a game of Hearthstone. I lost this game because of you, ostrich. Now I'm going to run you over with my car. Now we'll see who's boss. Do donkeys are not... You know, when someone says African lion safari, I don't think donkeys. All right, well, we maybe can... donkeys are the food. Uh -huh. Is there a Tyrannosaurus Rex here, too? And, of course, Canadian geese. Of course. The Canadian geese are not it's invited, pretty, by the way, but Easy. they can't keep them out because they just fly and shit, and they're like, damn, this place is sweet. I think this is a oh, bad okay. boy. Because he's got like fence around him. But he's got like the best, the best thing. He's got like a mud pool. Like, he's like in the mud pool. It's really pretty. It's just um, those antelopes or giraffes or whatever it is. Deer, bison, elk. We see that in our backyard. <laughs> oh, cute. Well, that is a big boy. This one's like bleeding a little bit. Is it? Yeah, he's got like a rash on his back. Maybe he was a bad boy too. He, he's an asshole. Look at what he's doing. He's going to like bigger ones and he's poking just nudging them. Yeah, he's poking their bum and he's nudging them so they get up. Yeah. Well, one of these bigger bigger ones took, took care of him. I don't know if, if that guy's scratching his head or if he's intentionally scratching the big one's balls. It's one of the two. That's my bum. The balls are underneath. Well, yeah, the horn was doing some work there, I think. <laughs> Drift around the herd. <laughs> what if he's a designated ass scratcher? <laughs> you think mm. there's a position like that in the herd? You know, you're gonna be the butt scratcher? Maybe. It's like Bambi. You just need Godzilla to step on it and make a movie. They have the movie, okay? There's so many, they're like pests almost. Oh yeah, that's the big one here. The big elk? Yeah. There. That's not a deer, that's an elk. Yeah. They're like fuzzy and shit. Stop scaring them, dude. He's scaring them. Is he? Yes. One. This is like a bomb. Look at that tiny one here. Tiny deer. It's 
Watch time fun over there is really where it's at. They're really jumpy. Is this really cool kids hang out? Mm -hmm. This is a new hot place in town. So these are Alex? Yep. It's like one dude and his harem. Yeah. <laughs> basically. It is, right? Yep. It's one I think it's one dude. Nice. And the little females. Damn, this seems nice. <laughs> Can I get my own pond? Do you oh. want to be part of my harem? <laughs> oh, we're talking about the pond or the harem? It's, it's obviously connected here, okay? Right. Is this the gentleman's club? Yes, this is the, the gentleman's country club. So. Why do they have fuzzy antlers? I thought I deer know. were supposed to have like sharp antlers. They said this thing. Okay. The fuzzy, fluffy yeah, thing? Right now it's fuzzy, fluffy because it's growing or something. Okay. And then they said it. The velvet, it. yeah. Well, when does it go sharp mode? After they said it. What's up, bros? They're looking at us. Oh, I scared them with my you clicking. You scared them! Around fall. Yeah, they're practicing. They got the safety on, see? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so this is like wooden swords? Yep. Are they ramming into the car? No, they're not doing that. Hi guys. So after this, we're gonna go through the walking section. Some of these are apparently people you've beaten in arena with some of these kids. Oh. Yeah. Sure. I mean, most of the stuff is just food and crap. This is like relaxation after the hard drive through the park. Well, you can do a boat ride like there, but I mean... That's pretty whatever. I don't know if I care. Yeah. There's like a train ride here though. Bald Eagle. See you guys. Bald... Bald things are cool, especially streamers. What is that? That is, uh, you're getting there and you're getting sprayed by water. Why? Because it's hot, supposed to be. Okay, go get sprayed. I'm not gonna get sprayed. But it's hot. I'm probably blocking some views, but whatever. I'm thinking that for all the seats that I block in theaters, the world makes up for it by making me uncomfortable for 10 hour flights. Yeah. Boys. No, it's an Asian elephant. Oh, is it? The Asian and the African still have some growing left to do. Now, as you can see, George has those long visible tests, and they can come in handy in the wild. George will demonstrate to you just how handy they can be. He's going to pick up this long and bring it to the front for us. Now, only the males have those tests, as the females have a much shorter version called cushions. You just gotta readjust to pick up that log. There it goes. Perfect. Look like a big dog. Oh, we can be a We have had 18 babies born since 1991. 
done already. It looks like George is all done here. And he likes to show off his work to everyone. No, I think those are mass produced. You think so? Yeah. But I can't see any one the same as the other one. Are those originals? Yes, you can touch the paint. Wow. Okay. Do you want an elephant or is No, I'm good. You're good? I'm good. I can counterfeit one if I need. <laughs> Don't you want a pet eagle? Sure. <laughs> need summer spirits now, it's gonna be busy, of course. Hi! It's like a vulture thing. Can we get one? Now, do we think a fruit bat? What he would much rather can we get a fruit bat? A large juicy piece of fruit. What he's simply gonna and do mosquitoes. is holding the juices from and that mosquitoes. fruit, and he is awesome. going to spit out the pulp. But in the rainforest, they can easily camouflage in with the red and yellow fruits, the green leaves, and even the bluish shadows of the rainforest. Now being so brightly colored, it only makes sense that they must be able to see in different colors. What we're going to have our volunteer do for us here is simply take those blue rings and mix them up in all those other colors. Now the reason we do have a volunteer down here doing this with us, instead of one of us simply mixing up those blue rings, is to demonstrate we are not putting those rings in the same location each and every time, and every single time Indy here has a new puzzle to solve. Those blue rings are very well hidden amongst all those other colors. Indy, you're going to have your work cut out for you on this one, so let's see how you do. So she waddles right on over that <laughs> pile, with no hesitation grabs that first blue ring right out of the middle. Can you go back and find that second one? She moves past the yellow, past the red, gets that second she got blue it. ring. She says, you certainly can't fool me. She can see all those different colors. Now, Indy did an excellent job. All it is is a hollowed out coconut attached to a rope attached to a perch. We put the bird's favorite treat into that coconut and the bird onto that perch. And it's completely up to them to decide how they're going to get that treat out. So here we have Pepper, and he is our Scarlet McCall. We're going to see how he has solved this puzzle today. He wants to make sure he spots that cup, or that treat rather, <laughs> and he thinks that sliding down that pole fireman style, just like how he'd do on a tree in the wild, is the best way to reach on over and get that treat no problem. And silence, Emily. I don't think one person's impressed. Is anyone impressed with Pepper today? Yeah. 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 I think we're going to have to call that pity applause. I do think we'll have to go ahead and call that pity applause. Don't feel bad, though. That's often the reaction here that Pepper here does get, but we like to think he makes it look so easy to get down to his treat. But keeping in mind that each bird is an individual just like you and I, when Rob Roy was given the exact same challenge, we put her up on the perch, she spotted her treat, and she said... I'm not going to waste all of my own energy so that I get all the way down to that coconut. Easy. She's going to bring the entire thing up to her. She's using her beak and her feet in a slightly different way. For her, the hardest part comes right at the end, dipping that big macaw beak into the coconut. But she gets a treat. Sandra State here is Eddie, and she is quite the chatterbox. So we're going to see what she has to say for you all today. Well, Eddie likes to start things hello. off by greeting everyone. Tell him hello. Shit. A couple little hellos from Eddie today. Now, Eddie also does like to introduce herself, and that will often come with a little bit of a hello as well. Some cheerful hi Eddies from Eddie today. Now, Eddie here is quite the nosy little bird. Often more in the parent house, maybe making up some of their food dishes or cleaning up for the day, she'll often ask us this next question. Some nosy what you doing sounds exactly like Eddie each and every day. Now you can't tell by looking at Eddie, but she is a female yellow crowned Amazon. Now with members of the parrot family, it is very difficult to tell the difference between males and females because they actually do look identical. We do have an a great example of this out here today. If you were to look over here on my far left, you would see Sergeant, who is our male military macaw. And over here on my far right, you would see Rob Roy, who is a female military macaw. So as you can see, these guys do look nearly identical. So what we actually have to do is take a little drop of blood, send it away to a lab, then through DNA testing, they'll tell us if we have a male or a female. No, we weren't surprised though whatsoever, and we got the results back that Eddie was in fact a female, because she can be a little flirtatious with the male Amazon. So Eddie, why don't you tell everyone, what do you say to a pretty male Amazon? 
<laughs> that is absolutely right. She loves to get the boys' attention. And then often once she does that, she'll follow it up with a few kisses. A couple of soft smacks, so we certainly do do the trick. Now, I bet you guys can tell that Eddie is quite a plateful little bird, but she does have one favorite game. <laughs> so yes, Eddie certainly does love a good tickle, and when she asks us for a tickle, we simply can't resist. We gotta head on over and we'll give her a little bit of a tickle. But sometimes she'll actually turn around and give us a little nip on the finger. Now we quickly figured no, out though, it's not because she's trying to hurt us at all. She just gets a real kick out of our response when she bites us. So Eddie, why don't we tell everyone, what do we say when you bite? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. That sounds a lot like us. We will say ow quite a few times, but then usually Eddie will find that pretty funny. Is that funny? Is that funny? Do you think that's a couple evil chuckles from our little comedian here today? Now, because Eddie is so talented, we figured we're going to teach her a couple of tunes. Before I get her singing, though, I do think it's important I get her to warm up her voice just a little bit. She took a piece of the pedestal and she's eating it. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds perfectly in tune to me. Now, unfortunately, you do have to keep in mind that these birds have learned to sing from us. And we are honest enough to admit we are terribly off-key. So please keep that in mind while I do have Eddie singing. Now, just to give you all a little bit of a hint as to Eddie's first tune today, all the birds you see out here are native to Central and South America, but they're all hatched right here in Canada. Now, that might give you a little bit of a hint as to Eddie's first tune. <laughs> oh, Canada! Some Patreon get all key of Candace from our patriotic little Amazon. Now Eddie does have a second song up her sleeve, but before I get her to sing it, I am going to ask all of you a question. Please raise your hand if you're celebrating a birthday with us on Safari today. Any birthdays in our audience here today? We have a couple that of birthdays. So well, bored. happy birthday. How many more July birthdays out there? Get those Look hands at that up. that one's so bored. Right, that's a couple oh, more hands, hand. but that's definitely not everyone. I'm not one to leave birthday. anyone out. Yeah. Please raise your hand if you're celebrating a birthday in the next year or so. Yeah. Alrighty, well, whatever that special day may be, especially if it is today, please keep this tune in mind from our little Eddie. This is one that she is still working on. <laughs> Good enough. Mm. There we go. Eddie's very own rendition of Happy Birthday. Big preggers. Oh, that is a huge belly. Hi. Smelly. Pygmy goats. Like the, they're headbutting each other. Oh my god, they're fighting! Look, you're a bully! Stop it! You're fighting! Stop it, you bullies! Polishing his head, look at that. You're a piece of me. I'm clean now. Uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. They look so pissed off. Pissed off and sleepy, yeah. So pissed off. Do you really care to feed them? No, that's fine. Something kind of smells right now. Uh, what do you think smells here? Everything <laughs> smells here. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. It's a squirrel monkey. It's peeing. Yeah. Nice. So nice. So nice. Now these guys often are quite confusing, not only because they do like to run on the ground like so, but also because people are not entirely sure what kind of bird they can be. Since they are named the Striata Caracara and their body does resemble that of a hawk, people are often surprised to find out that these guys are actually closer related to that of a falcon. 
Now these guys are also one of the most intelligent birds of prey, and they have found out a couple of cool tactics to make some easy snacks. One, they can flip over rocks to find insects, and they can use burrows to their advantage to find some other prey items as well. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we're just gonna get a drink and probably drive home. So, thanks for watching. Thanks, we guys. hope you had fun. And, uh, yeah. See ya.